Well, hello there, everybody. It is Seniac. I mean, it would be weird if it wasn't Seniac right now. <laughs> that would be weird, wouldn't it? While that countdown has been going on, I forgot Seniac 2 has a five minute countdown. Because normally on the main channel, we have a 10 minute countdown. So what I did was, I got the stream all scheduled, right? Got it all set up. Went live. And obviously, within the 10 minute countdown, I was going to go make myself like some, um, like a little cup of like instant noodles. And I thought, I'll go make some noodles right now. I can eat it in 10 minutes while I'm waiting for the countdown to, to finish. Then about like two minutes into it, I realized, hang on, hold on. So the egg is a five minute countdown. So I haven't been able to finish my noodles. <laughs> well, that backfired, didn't it, boys? That's slightly backfired right now. Oh my goodness me. Well, anyway, welcome back, boys. How's everyone, how's everyone doing? Everyone doing good? Uh, we're back with Planet Zoo, guys, because I want to try and get some big, beautiful animals. We actually got, last episode, uh, our first monkey, uh, some elephants, and I feel like the zoo's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger right now. And I'm really, really excited to where this is going to go. So, are you guys ready? Uh, if you're ready, guys, you'll put one in the chat right now so I can see who's turned up. I can already say, your boy Fire Eater. I can see, how about that Sadiac fan right now? Zoe Septicai is here. Charger Gamer is here right now. Jay Fitch is here. We got uh, your, your boy Sash here right now. Gene Carlo's here. What's going on, Gene? What's going on? You damn fool. <laughs> Cecil's here right now. Robo's here. Oh my god. So yeah, I didn't quite get to finish my noodles in time. I I've literally ate most of them. I just you know you know you get the like the, the, the water. The flavoured water at the bottom of your noodles. You damn the best know. bit. Oh, a little bit chewy, a little bit of chicken in there, boys. Mm. Anyway, uh money it's the ult. You think I you think you can sneak that one past me? You think you can sneak that one past me? Easy route to three tiles. Mm. Well, the ult is gonna go three tiles? Is that what you're trying to say right now? Get out of here, you damn fool. Get out of here. Hello everyone, Seneak is uh, not a dog. I am uh, Seneak is a dude. Uh, Master Doc, what are you doing, you damn fool? What are you doing right now? <laughs> Buy a lion. That's what I want to do. But the problem is the lions are conservation Your credits. Cash money. So you need a lot of conservation credits right now. Money cash 1007 alt donated one pound. He's going for free tiles, boys. He's going for free tiles right now. Somebody stop this man. Somebody. And, he, and you know what's even more crazier? He did it on his alt. Ryan would be proud. <laughs> Right! Here we go, boys. We're going to load it all up right now. Because totally not prepared right now. Uh, totally not prepared right now. Uh, excuse me, Cindy. Where's my promotion? I said. What did I say in Discord yesterday? What did I say? If Cam edits all my videos for free, everybody will get a promotion. And don't tell me you got bacon donuts today. Here's me eat drinking noodles. But they are tasty. I'm waiting for it to update on top. Oh, it hasn't done it yet. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, boys. It has not done it yet. Oh, the elephant's going crazy. The elephant is going crazy right now. I did get bacon donut. What? Right, we're going to resume the Zulio. <laughs> money Cash, it's done it. It's done it, Money Cash, you're damn fool. It's done it. Right, let's resume the zoo. And let's see what we can get up to, boys. Now, I need to refresh my brain of where we're at. Uh, we also need to figure out how many conservation points um, we, we kind of need to get to get like a lion or something like that. But we need to get like a chimpanzee, which is pretty sweet. So we'll see what happens. Uh, how do you get member on this channel? There's a blue join button, subscribe button. If you can't see it, I think there's a, a link in the description as well. Right, hold on. Look at the zoo, boys. It looks beautiful. Right, that's it. Noodles are done. Noodles are done. 
a bit of chicken stuck in the back of my throat. Um, I'm not sure if there's a join button. It is blue anymore. Uh oh, they changed the color. Now it's onto my cup of tea, boys. Oh, look at it. It's filled to the top. Oh, so British right now in my cup of tea. Right, so a couple of problems that we do have is that some of the facilities are having a negative effect on our guests. And it would be nice to kind of move them. It would be kind of nice to move them. Uh, just to reallocate them. Uh, and it's mainly the power. It's mainly the generator. That is the big problem right now. That is the big problem. So what I'm going to do first, and before we do anything, right? No, I don't think the joy button is blue anymore. You're going to have to overhaul your lines. What color is it then? Have they changed the color? Damn. How dare they? How dare they? Um, so let me just see what's having a negative effect. It's the transformers and a facility is also inaccessible. Wait, how long is this? How, how long has this restaurant been inaccessible? Do you know what? It's not even a good restaurant. I'm deleting it. Because no one wants to use it anyway. Delete you, delete you, delete you. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to move these transformers, right? I've got one over here and then one over here, which are having a negative effect on guests. We're going to have to slightly move them. Uh, so guests stop complaining. Oh, damn, the join button is now white. Okay. There's a white join button down fun. below or a link in the description. <laughs> Come! You damn fool. How are you doing? Hello. Welcome. Ham's here, guys. Ham's here right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> right. So, let <laughs> Upload when? Yeah, I said it. Right, how are the elephants doing right now? Who did these big nuggets? Who did these big nuggets? Right, here's money cash right now. Here's Zoe. Yo. Money cash is like twice the size of Zoe right now. Money cash been eaten. he been eating all his snacks right now. And we've got in the little pool right now. Virage. I don't think we really named it, did we? Uh, now, nah, already, seriously. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll give, I should I should have give you like five minutes to settle in before I came up with those comments right now. Money cash feasting. He, he, yo, he is. But, uh, by the way, so there, is there an animal named after me yet? No, Heather. I will let you pick an animal. And you can be named after it. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness me. So... We need to move these transformers. And I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to reallocate this uh, restroom right here. And if I just rotate this and just put it there. I'm going to turn this path here into a staff path. And place a transformer there. Hopefully that will give us a good enough radius to kind of zoom, zoom around. So, staff path. And we're going to go just here. to there and I think that will be good enough so the transformer which is hidden in the bushes which makes no difference we've kind of like literally discovered recently right gonna put this I want to get away right I want to try and see if I can now why is this red wait what I right, get rid of you we'll place it down ourselves this foolish game telling your boy right now he can't place down transformers. How freaking dare they? The poor people using the toilet just got re <laughs> relocated. <laughs> ah, just how I like it. Just how I like it. Why, why can't I place this here? What is the issue? Is the path too close? Oh, the path is too close. Do you know what? I didn't realize how wide the or how much space we actually kind of needed. That's what the issue is, boys. I don't know what you guys are talking about right now. I don't know what you guys are talking You guys are lying to me right now. What are you talking about, you damn fools? Right, we'll go here. This is maximum space at this point. Maximum space. I should now be able to reallocate this transformer. Right, move this. And put this over here. Right, is it the right way round? Okay, I might have given it a little bit too much space. But it's better to have too much space than not enough space, right? 
La di da. I would like to see a leopard or a cheetah now for me. If I can afford to get one, we will 100% do it. 100%. Right. I don't know if that has a negative effect. How do you see the overlays again, guys? Because I always want to see the overlays for power. Um. Heat maps. Power. So this is where the power is spread into currently. Okay. This does not have power. Okay. Um. Right. Idea. Right. Staff path going around. We'll put an enclosure in here to kind of hide it all. But we're going to reallocate this. To here. Right. Does that now work? Right, bear with me a second, guys. That gives the power to all of this, and I can hide those, which is all good. <sighs> I can hide those, which is all good. Um, guest needs, that happens, blah, 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 negative effect, impacts. So this water one is actually relatively small, but I'm still going to move it. No, oh no, I'm moving the transformer. No, no. I want to move this. I just put it there. How does that negative effect now apply? It's only here. So it's okay. And I've just got to move this transformer here. Oh, this is so stressful. But we can do this. Right, we can do this. Right, we'll come back to that one. We'll come back to it. I think we should try and figure out what animals we're going to get next. Right, let me just collect this reward. Claim. Nice. Nice. So I have 108 conservation credits, okay? I have 108 conservation credits right now. Uh, Seniac Zoe hasn't gotten me an animal. I'm going to name you after the poop that the animals poop out. <laughs> Is that evil? That might be slightly evil, Fiery. That might be slightly evil. Um, right, first things first. I need to make sure that none of my animals are on contraception right now. So they have lots and lots of babies. So I can get loads of conservation credits. Okay, that is what I need to do. Now, bam, 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 bam. Right, I don't care how many babies they have. We need conservation credits. So, we need to figure out as well what animal we're going for next. So, animal trading. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Uh, if we get a caterpillar, call them Colin. I want to call him Cuthbert, okay? I want to call him Cuthbert. That's the only truth. Caterpillar, your boy knows. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get a cheetah or a leopard. So a cheetah, if I can confirm this. Oh, okay. I didn't realize how cheap a cheetah could be. That is not unreasonable to get that amount of conservation credits. Right. Okay. So if that's the case, then... We need to... I mean, I've got a lot of um, uh, P fowls in here right now. So, I need to get rid of some of these. So, let's first check out our animals. Do it by um, thingy as well. So, all my tortoises are juveniles. Except... Oh, there's a few here that are not juveniles. So, we'll get rid of you. Get rid of you. Uh, leave them too. Um, send them to the trade center. There we go, there we go. There we go. Uh, and then we'll move on to next then. There's actually quite a lot of uh, giant tortoises right now. Uh, okay, so now we're on to the ostriches. We'll go for the tradable young guns. Right, move to the trade center. I should do this. Why am I doing this? I should do it all in one go. So this is what you need to do to get the conservation credits. So now we're on to the warthogs. Not tradable. Elephants, not tradable yet. Uh, Peafowls, I'm only going to go for the ones that are tradable. They're 11. So some of them are still quite young. And these ones are quite old. Right, okay. Interesting. Interesting. 
Bam, 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 bam. Okay, there's quite a few of these P files to trade out right now. Or to release into the wild. Uh, then we've got the iguana, which we can't do anything with. Oh, the crocodiles. Right, one can go here. You can go. We have a snow leopard. Only one snow leopard, because they don't like having a partner in there. Which I feel like I want to get rid of the snow leopard. Uh, monkeys, which is Mr. Rock, Mrs. Rock, and Little Rock. Right, send to the trade center. Right, we're trading all these right now. So we've got 108 conservation credits. Let's see what we can get by trading them all. Right, where's the rest of them? Ha, no. Ha ha! So, release all these to the wild. You get 418. I'll get a little bit more. So, that'll give me a total of 546, which means I can afford... I can afford, boys, one cheetah. Interesting. Uh, get rid of the snow leopard. Sh I, yeah, I think I should. I reckon I, I should get rid of the snow leopard because it can't have a mate. It always keeps complaining. And I replaced the snow leopard enclosure with a cheetah. I think that's what we should do. That's what we should do, boys. Hey, Sinead, did you forget that Little Rock's birthday was yesterday? Nope. I did not. Uh, fab idea, says Money Cash. Fab I diddly. Fab I diddly. <laughs> um. <laughs> Right. Right, 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 right. So, the actual animal in here is our snow leopard, who is an outsider, even though it's the only animal in here right now. So, we are going to send him to the trade center. So, that means we have zero animals in here right now. All gone. All gone, boys. So, animal trade him. No, wrong button. Can I trade this one out? Mm, yeah. You're not going to get a lot for it, but I'm getting rid of it. And then we need to delete all the snow um, things in here. How do you delete them? Can I? Have I got to delete these like individually? Delay. 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 A delay. Delay. How many of these did I get? Now, I'm, I'm assuming I might have to replace them with heaters for the cheaters. Oh, heaters. That rhymed. That rhymed. Haters for the cheaters, mate. Haters for the cheaters. There we go. Uh, leave the snow and put in penguins. No, Doug. No. I'm getting cheaters, mate. I'm getting cheaters. Right, there we go. Let's fast forward then to get to, like, the daylight. It's so dark and we cannot see a damn thing. Uh, hey, Senate, go buy a wolf and name it uh, and put my name on it. We'll have a look after the cheaters, how expensive they are. So I don't think I'll have to change much in here. I mean, I will have to change some terrain, maybe change the trees or whatnot. But I reckon it'll be quite fine for implementing in uh, the cheaters. We've also got to figure out where I can place like a staff path for the... Um, What's it called again? Transformer! There we go. I forgot the name of it then for a second. So like you can buy wolves. Yes. But I'll check how much they are after. Right, okay. So it is now daytime. Glorious. Uh, facility having a negative effect. It is really being quite bad, this. So I'm going to have to move it. I think what we'll do, we'll, we'll kind of take a, a slight chunk out of this enclosure. So I'm going to edit the barrier. Come 
Come on, boy. I want to edit the barrier. Uh, construction. No. Barriers. There we go. Brick. So I'm going to go up to here. Right, I'm just going to cave into that slightly. I might replace some of these with... Wait, is it windows? Yes. So more viewing platforms on the corner. So make the enclosure more accessible to guests. We're going to delete this and then hide it with a transformer that hopefully will kind of supplement this area as well. That's what we're hoping for. So it means I need to delete this. Ah! You damn fool. Thank God for the undo button. Jazz! <laughs> Chaz to see my little blunder right there. Right, thank God for the undo button there. I almost cried. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was kind of low-key scary. I'm not even going to lie to you right there. Not even going to lie. Right, I reckon we'll go quite close into it here. We'll go maximum five. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. So, facilities now, I see it all. Oh my goodness, me, that scared me. <laughs> I'm going to move this. So, I'm going to move it just to here. Does that cover my power radius? No. No, it does not. Can you increase the range of a transformer? Scenery, reduce negative, negative area. Because even that's not close enough. Hmm. I have not forgot ever. Hmm. Right. Mechanic research. Power. So, oh, hang on. We got solar powers? Wait, hold on. Wait, does a solar power, uh, solar panel have a negative effect? Right, I have a staff path just there. I can barely see for the trees. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Right, that solves my issues. Granted, it's a smaller radius, but that solves all my issues. Right. Things have just changed. It's not going to get no sunlight that uh, long. Don't matter. Hey, it gets plenty. It's fine. <laughs> well, hopefully there's no negative effects anymore. Uh, feeding station cannot be reached. What do you mean the feeding station? Oh, because this door's got no power as well. Well, it has got power. It's getting maintained. Oh, no, it, it's floating. Hold on, this one, it's, it's actually floating. No, 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 no. How do I move this one? Enter group. Move. You. Well, that's the reason. So many issues. So many issues. How does a solo work in the shade? With imagination and, and belief. If you believe, you shall receive the sunlight. Right, can we can we buy the um the cheater now? 
Right, so, first one coming in. Right, this is probably the better one out of the two. Female. We'll buy. Adopt. And they need about 400 plus conservation credits right now to get a male. So, animal trading. Right, animal storage. Send to zoo. Wait for it to arrive. And then we'll... Re Actually, can I rename it now? No. We'll wait for it to get into the enclosure. And then I can rename it to Heather. Fast forward, boys. Fast forward. So they I've done some digging in the plant zoo. They actually do have wolves. I know they have wolves. I've said it three times, Fire Eater. I've said it three times, you damn fool. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> right. It, it, oh, the cheat is in, guys. The cheat is in. So, cheat is here. We're going to rename it to Heather. Oh, hang on. Doing it the wrong way around. There we go. Couldn't spell it for a second, but we got there in the end. It's now called Heather. And we need to make sure that we've got the perfect enclosure. So remove this plant, remove this plant. Remove all the plants that are having negative effects. Ah. Whew. On our um, cheetah. We've got to do the terrain real quick. So they want a lot more short grass. So I put some short grass around there. So less of the rock they want as well. A bit more long grass. And that covers everything that's needed there. Maybe a bit more soil. Put it in the middle. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Go for a little bit of long grass. Right, that covers all the terrain needs, which is perfect. Uh, enrichment, everything is all good. I just need uh, environmental stuff right now. Trees and stuff. So we've got Grassland Africa. Where you can get a bunch of different trees right now. That they are going to love. Oh, all these trees are okay, aren't they? Yeah. Yep, the like and all of this. Trying to increase the coverage a little bit more as well. Do, 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 do. Nice, nice. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go for that. Uh, rocks. <clears throat> I mean, we've got a few in anyway, but it's kind of like quite sparse. Sparse is the correct word I'm looking for. Over here. Right, and everything is all sorted there. Nice little bit of range. So once we can afford another one, another male, we'll kind of get one in. And then hopefully, we'll get cheetah babies and we can get even more conservation credits releasing them in the wild. Yes! When is episode 7 of Snowfall going to drop? Uh, I think that's a Friday. That's going to be on Friday, I believe. Friday. Friday. Friday, Friday. Has my eye gone red? My eyes gone red. I feel like I stabbed my eye. Right. Right. What's now having a negative effect on guests? Oh, this transformer? Well, guess what? I don't need it. I now have solar panels. Don't talk to me ever again. There might be more fee pals uh, 
fee pals. P pals. <laughs> what? What? Oh, now what's having a negative effect? Oh, the water? Oh, it is a little bit too close to the path. Right. Leave me alone, guys. Leave me alone. Just, you know. Can't the guests just be happy for once? Can't the guests just be happy? Right, animals. Uh, can we get rid of any right now and trade any out? Uh, we can. Two tortoises here. Pause this, because sometimes it likes to refresh. Uh... Paying attention to who we've got in here as well. So, we can trade them out. A couple of P-files I can now trade out. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Bam. I think P-files are my biggest, like, conservation credit maker. They do make quite a fair bit. Right, send to the trade center, boys. Right, and we'll trade him. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put in play mode, don't I? So, storage. How much should we get? 255. Should be about 260 ish. 272. So, we got 571. 571. So does that mean I can now afford an, a cheater? So I need a male, which you are the perfect male, but the fertility is quite low. Bit higher. Ah! Okay, taking you. Right. Oh, do you know what I should have done? See if they would have got along with our current cheater in there. Does anybody want to be named after, the, after this new cheater, by the way, guys? Let me know in chat right now if anybody wants to be renamed after this new cheater. Charger says, pick me. Well, as soon as you're the first one to say it, Charger, we'll call you. We'll call the new cheater after you. Right, fast forward, boys. Waiting for the cheater to arrive. They bring them in in a box. Fire wants to be named after a wolf. Here's the box, boys. There we go. And we can rename this one to Charger. Ha ha! Charger and Heather are two cheaters. Nice. Oh, damn! Charger, a speedy boy. Look at him go! Oh, hello. Oh, he looks so mean and so angry. Why he looks so mean and angry right now? Is he, look is he found Heather? Where's Heather? Heather's over here sleeping. Wait, has Heather had uh, one named uh, after them, right? Yeah. This is Heather here. Heather's asleep. While well, Charger is walking on the distance right now. Uh-oh, he's coming to wake Heather up. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is quite scary. <laughs> uh, they they be chilling, boys. Oh, as Heather wakes up, Charge is about to go to sleep. Damn, so speedy. So speedy. Uh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. Great stuff. So that's going to help us out then. Um... Oh, I was wondering what was happening there for a second. I've got all these no no notifications. that's all catching up with themselves. Um. <laughs> uh. Do you think you'll see them doing the business? This is a family-friendly channel. Okay. Okay. Um. You, do you know how babies are made? The stork flies in with a baby in one of those handkerchief things and then drops it into the enclosure. I'll have you know. Right, okay. Great stuff, great stuff, great stuff. Our little kind of reptile section over here is, um, you know, there. <laughs> um, do we have the ability to see what guests' thoughts are? What do guests think of the zoo? 
Is that a thing in this game? Uh, zoo overview. Guests. So guest forts. Okay, looks like they want more more places to kind of get food and drink because we are a little bit overwhelmed in some areas. So drink stalls then. We're trying to implement a few additional. So, uh, gulpy slush. Gulpy sl soda. We'll go for chief beef. What a name. What a name. And we'll go for hot dog squad. We'll also get in uh, toilets. Just there as well. Very good, sir. Very good. And we'll also get some trash cans in. Stop them from littering around. So we're probably going to need more staff members as well. We'll get onto that in just a moment. So building that over there, which should bring a little bit more hustle and bustle to that area. And I feel like we should also treat here as another little food court area. Facilities without power. Where's that? Wait, how are you out, how are you without power? I gave you power. Unbelievable, guys. Unfreaking believable. How many of these solar panels do we need? And where do I connect them? It's really difficult to see. Do these guys over here have power? They don't, do they? No. I'm trying to view. Does the power now spread? It does. Which they're now open for business. <sighs> we got there in the end. We got there in the end. We got there in the end, boys. Damn. Can you get a rabbit? Because those creatures breed a lot. <laughs> oh my good god. Right, facilities, uh, guest facilities. We'll go for another toilet block just here. Uh, drink stalls. So I want to try and do. Why did my toilet block not go in? There we go. Uh, so we'll go for some different stalls. We get like some coffee. Ooh, coffee? Ooh. Um, some water thing? Okay. We're getting info we're getting like an additional information booth in. There we go. And then we'll get in here some more food stalls. So we'll go for pizza pen. Uh, we got Missy Good? What's this? And we got Mex Mex Lente? I don't know how you pronounce that one. No idea. Right, I'm just going to quickly grab in the trash cans. Just dot a couple of trash cans around. Just where it's needed. So what it actually does for us, it, it provides a few more facilities to get food and drink. So the ones in the center aren't always overwhelmed. But we're probably going to need a lot more. So they connect your new solar path to the park scene repaired. Oh, did I not connect to the path? Where did I pull it? Oh, it's not actually connected to the path. You're all right. Okay, it doesn't want to play ball right now. What's going on? All right, there we go. I've had to squeeze it in there because that's the only place it will go. So there we go. We've got more places for now food and drink. Okay, good, 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 good. So we've got to figure out then what's our next move for our next animal. Um, we need more coffee. No. I am currently drinking tea. Ah. 
I'm telling you, there's something wrong with my eye. Hold on. I think I feel like I poked myself in my eye. You ready for this? I put myself in my eye earlier. And now he's gone red. And before we say anything, zero grey hairs. Zero grey hairs, guys. Absolutely none. You see nothing. You damn fools. You damn fools. <laughs> right, okay. An inspector is coming to the zoo. So get pandas. I don't know if I'll be able to afford them. I mean, the problem is, guys, I can only get animals with conservation credits, and I've got literally none. Like, if I wanted an animal right now, let's say I wanted... And I can't afford another cheetah. I don't have enough credits. So can you even get pandas in here? So a great panda... Actually, it's not that expensive, but I'm assuming they're going to be not very high-quality ones. Like a good one, a, a giant one here. 10,000. Yo. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. But I know Fire Eater really wants me to get a wolf. He really wants me to get a wolf right now. So where's the timber wolf? There's the timber wolf. And these are... Oh, you can buy these with cash. Okay, we can definitely do that. It means I can't trade the parents. I can only trade their offspring. So. All right, we'll buy you. And we'll get you. Right, so they should be in our trade area right now, right? Wait, did I not get them? Did I not get him? What happened? What's going on? Is this so wrong with this? Am I doing something wrong here? Refresh the list. It's refreshed. I can't do this. If anything, I've got too much cash. Oh, the cheetah is about to mate. The cheetah is about to have babies. Right, get these out of here. Um. Right. <sighs> Why shouldn't you race with a big cat? Why? Why? It's probably a glitch. I don't know what's going on there. I have no idea. Oh, a grizzly bear? How much is a grizzly bear? Can I buy a grizzly bear? Okay, so I can buy a grizzly bear. Why can't I buy the wolf? I got a problem now. I kind of need to now buy the male grizzly bear. Because it's a cheetah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. Right. Turns out we're buying grizzly bears. Fire eater. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Because it won't let me buy a wolf. How dare they? Right. Let me get some more credits together anyway. Let me get some more credits together because. Let me pause that. I need to buy the male grizzly bear. 
So I have to get rid of a bunch of P-Files right now. All right, send us your aid center. Please tell me that will give me enough. So, obviously, all of them except the grizzly bear. Release to the wild. We get a little bit extra. But I now need to figure out... Alright, let me get this timber wolf off. So, I have a female. I need a male grizzly bear. Which I could buy you. But your better fertility. Okay, now you are by you. Have I got them both? Yes. Two grizzly bears. Right. I need to build the enclosure for these grizzly bears right now. Um, get something small so you can get them more often. Then you can raise. I have got something small. I got pea fowls. I do have ostriches right now breeding like crazy. I have warthogs too. Uh, my ticket prices are already really high. Um, so I need to build the enclosure. But what I need to do first though is get the grizzly bears. I need to figure out what I need for them. So where's the grizzly bear? Grizzly bear, grizzly bear. So I need to find out their, uh, their enclosure. So it needs to be a grade 4 climb proof greater than 2 meter fence. Grade 4 climb proof. Climb proof is the key word. Climb proof is the key word. So grade 4, which doesn't give us much options. So grade 4, which is brick... And only brick at the minute. It is not climbable. So it means we have to have uh, the grizzly bear enclosure with a walkable platform going over the top. Very similar to how we've done the elephants. You know these walkways going over? We've got to do something similar with these right now. So where to put the grizzlies? Where shall we put the grizzlies, boys? Um, I reckon we put them over here. I reckon we put them over here. But what I'll do first is we'll sort the paths out. Let's fast forward so it's daytime. We'll get the paths right now. And let me line to grid. How do, how do I make it go up again? Can anyone remember how I make it go up again? Like make the staircase? I forgot how to do it. Do, 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 do. Uh, but you can't. But you can't do it in grid. Is that why? Ah. Well, that's weak, isn't it? Sometimes this game... Right, how has it now got a bend? So two up. There we go. So we're making a viewable platform is what we're going to try and do. So if I go out by five here, 
angle snap is what I want to do. We're going to try to... Wait, why is one a staircase and one is a ramp? It's not high enough, is it? There we go. So we have a viewable platform like this. And then we're going to have one come off to the side. Make it nice and long. So that's going to be the viewable platforms for the bare enclosure. I want to keep it nice and kind of tight to this side so I don't create too much of a spiral maze where the people feel like it's going to... I'm basically turning the, the pathways and the, the park into a maze. I want to keep it nice and simple. And uh, this might even be a viewing deck for the animals next to it as well. Because I'm not going to do like a huge enclosure. So I've got to do red brick. And two meters is fine, if I remember correctly. Bam. Bam. We're going to have to slightly go under. So we'll reduce it in size right now. We'll just do it to there. I don't know if this is a straight line or not. Oh, that will do. I don't think it's the best of straight lines. Almost there. It's quite a decent size enclosure. I'm not even going to lie. Is two meter tall enough in real life? I don't think it would be. That's what the game says. I'm just going off what the game says right now. Uh, what on earth is, uh, is that, Seniac? Spaghetti. <laughs> Stop bullying me right now. I'm going to call the police. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, glass habitat. Right. We'll go with this just here. And we're going to drop our two grizzlies into this then. So send to zoo. In they go. Now obviously we're going to need to ter like terraform and do all kinds of stuff in here to make it all work well. I cannot wait to go off work uh, to see uh, real life falls. I really want to see them. Oh, let's go fire it. Where, where are you going to go see those, boy? do 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 We'll see you soon, Heather. We'll see you soon. Right, I'm going to get some bins quickly around. Trash cans, my guy. And then we'll also get some donation booths. Uh, where's the donation booths? There we go. Right, one grizzly's now in. So we got to sort out the whole enclosure right now. So terrain-wise, it's severely inappropriate. Too much long grass. So terrain, we'll go for some short grass first. Oh, 
I switch it all out for short grass. It's to the point where he doesn't want anything. Uh, we'll get some rock. But it looks like it does look quite like a rocky enclosure. That will do. Oh, and they they can have water. Can they have water? I mean, it's not a requirement, so I think we're okay. Uh, Environment-wise, we'll we'll do the environment last. I want to get the um, the habitat stuff in for the grizzlies. So filter species, gotta find the grizzlies. Gr gr grizzly bear. That's all expansion pack stuff. So let's go for this large wooden shelter. So I'm gonna place that just here within reach of the viewing deck extra large bedding for the go 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 raise our ladies um all right food and water should we add should we add a little kind of swimming section for the grizzlies because they do catch like salmon and stuff don't they and they eat it i reckon we should I reckon we should. Right. Large food tray. And pull around the water just there. Yeah, let's let's do um some terraining real quick. So terrain, sculpt in, push it down. Not too deep. And if I Bring down the size of the brush and the intensity. Could I create a little bit of a stream? I wonder if so. Ha ha! Right, this works wonders. This works wonders. So back to habitat then. So I can get an underwater fish feeder and a, another underwater fish feeder as well. Perfect. Perfect. Right. I don't think they need to use coolers, but we're going to need to add in a bunch of uh, enrichment items right now. So scratching post tree. So these are the scratching posts. We'll get some climbing fences in. Not too big though, not too high. Oh, apparently the ticket are now underpriced. I think because the amount of animals I've added in recently, the ticket price is now uh, skadoodling down. Is that going to float if I pull it in there? Or oh, let's get it going across the water. That's pretty cool. Right, herb scent stuff. Add a box in. Which is now in the water which is going to get wet fire hose thing football snowball even though it's going to get melted um we got these, oh we got these little bridges as well but i think that it's a little bit too short to do what i want to do climbable poles more bark stuff frozen block ice block cardboard box Right, just dive around in random spots, kind of like entice them a little bit more. And then we need to add in a lot more scenery. A lot more scenery needs to be added in. So, environment, it needs to be temperate North America. Um, California and Redwoods. Oh, they're tall, aren't they? How tall are they? Oh, very tall. Is that the tallest one? Oh, damn. A little bit too tall, boys. A little bit too tall. But not too close to the edge, because they will then start to uh, escape. Uh, can we get any reeds? 
That's large nettles, horn bushes. Mm. It's not really what I'm after. Sugar maple. Is that a good idea? Can they climb onto the platform from there? I'm not too sure. But we need lots more coverage. We do need lots more coverage, don't we? Uh, it's uh, also next four. I had to uh, make some ramen soup. Oh, did you? <laughs> did you see me in mine and thought, hmm, I could do with some right now. So that does the coverage right there. So I think we're all okay. I think we're now going to be all okay. Right. It's gone very dark again. Can you disable the day and night cycle? Is that a thing? Um. I don't think you can, can you? I don't think you can. What's going on, Sally G? How you doing? How you doing? I wait for the the next day to skip by so it becomes daytime. Because I think we might have a few uh, animals that we can send into the wild as well. Right, we played away the game. Fire Eater's got chicken strips for lunch. Is he trying to make me jealous right now? Oh, they thought the ticket price was um, a bit too cheap as well, didn't they? Right, daytime's coming shortly. So, adult is now going to be 35 and a child is now going to be $30. Complain it's too cheap or charge you more. I'll start charging you more, boys. Right, okay, so let's sort these problems out then we've got with the animals then. So, right, wait for the, uh, the daytime to come. It sounds like it's about to start raining. Uh, right, let's pause it so I can go through my animals again. And then trade out whoever I can to get some conservation points. So, oh, hold on. We have free baby cheetahs. Wow. Wow. We have baby cheetahs, boys. We have baby cheetahs. Damn. Uh, I'm very well, thank you. Uh, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm super addicted to cheetahs. Oh, snap. That game sucks you in, boy. You gotta be careful. That game sucks you in. It's a good game, man. It's a good game. Right, gotta get rid of a bunch of ostriches now. Because they've been breeding like crazy. Right, the two bears are here, which haven't had any babies yet. I've only just added them in, so yeah, it makes sense. Right, we have a lot of peafowls that are going to be ready to be skadoodled out of here soon. Any crocs right now? Not yet. Crocs take a while. Oh, no, no, it does not. No, no. Crocs take a while, but you can get some serious cash. Well, conservation credits for those. So it's interesting. <gasps> the grizzly bears expecting an offspring already. Right, can't do it that one because this one is expecting an offspring as well. So I gotta put this one back in because it's expecting an offspring. Right. Everyone but you then release the oh, hold on. Release to the wild. Very good. So what's having the negative effect right now? Oh, the high amounts of litter. Okay. We could do with hiring a few extra staff now, couldn't we? 
Right, the grizzly bear's expecting an offspring. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's odd not having my second gifted membership since it's on Seniac, not Seniac 2. Oof. Oof. Right, I'm going to get a couple of caretakers. And do I need some more vend? I think we'll be okay. I was going to add this to the work zone now, don't I? Edit this. Edit you. Can I drag the... No, you can't even drag it. Right, add them to the work zone. Just so for the workers that are on the work zone, they'll just kind of regularly maintain them. Very good. Very good. I just came back from dinner. Uh, and that's what, what have I missed? Oh, so much. So, I think the last time you were here, we were getting rid of the snow leopard, wasn't we? Well, we've now got two cheetahs, which the cheetahs have now had three babies. So, we've got baby cheetahs on the scene right now. Uh, I've managed to fix my power issues and transformers. I've added in more kind of, kind of um, shops and stuff over here and over here. And we've recently just kind of completed the grizzly bear enclosure, which the grizzly bears are now just about to have their own baby as well. So it's all happening, Money Cash. It's all happening. And there's high amounts of litter, and I've just got some more caretakers as well. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Bam. Uh, Sydney, I'm waiting for your next big ambition stream. I've got to do one soon, because I need to grind out my uh, 50 million... Uh, valuation bum, 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 bum. yeah that, that, them snow leopards were no good they were no good and i'm just waiting for a lot of my animals now to mature so i can trade them out to get some more conservation credits so it's just a case of now just waiting for them to come in a cheetah is stressed oh this is a baby oh oh i think i can trade the babies already out can't i oh no 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 no, no, no. that's the dad isn't it that cheetah is stressed because he's now become the father of three animals. That's why he's stressed, boys. That's why he's stressed. Right. Let me see if I can now trade any more out. The tortoises take a long time. They do take some time. Any ostriches ready to kind of skadoodle out of here? Um, no. There's a lot ready to go soon. Same with the crocs. Right, okay. Let's think of our next game plan then. What type of animal should we go for next? So animal trading. Do, 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 do. We've got the grizzly bears now. Should we see if we can afford one of those timber wolves for your boy um, Fire Eater? So if I do it by price, will it let me buy it now? They let me buy it, finally! They let me buy it. There we go. They finally let me buy the Timberwolves. They finally let me buy the Timberwolves. Nice. Nice. So let's build the enclosures. So, Timberwolf enclosures then. Grade 2, 1.25. So that's quite fairly easy to kind of get that done. So where are we building the timber wolf enclosure? Should we build it just here? I think this will be a nice little spot for it. So path-wise, if I go back to align to grid. Right, I'm doing lines to grid. So I get this perf perfect rectangle going around it. And we can build some barriers. So, uh, grade two, which could be windows. Which is, yeah, there we go. We're all good then. So do I give them zero privacy? <laughs> and let's have a complete windowed enclosure.
I'm not too sure about that. Right, what I'll do is I'll build the whole enclosure first and I'll, I'll change out some of them for a different material just for a little bit of privacy. Because it'd be a bit weird to have the whole of the animals on show. Right, so. This is a brick wall here anyway, so I reckon we'll do this little corner. Like this. We'll create that little corner here. And we'll do a little corner here for privacy as well. So a little viewing platform, well, wind opportunity just there. Then all this as well. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So we need then the door. Which I'll put this... I'll put it over here, actually. On the brick. Nice. Well, what's the next issue now, then? High amounts of litter. So where's the litter? Okay. There is actually high amounts of litter. I don't think I have any garbage um, trash cans here. Trash cans, bins, mate, bins. Um, right, utilities. No, not utilities. There we go. They seem to be littering quite a lot around here. There we go. Where else is the litter? Is it just in that area? Right, lit and taken care of. Well, we, we'll get it a little bit more around here as well. As soon as they're going to be walking around this a little bit more. Makes sense in reality, doesn't it? It does make sense. And guess what it is? Donation uh, things as well. For the walls that we're going to have in here. Right, Fire Eater. If you're still here right now. If you're still here. Do I rename you after the male or the female wolf? It's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you. It's actually raining really bad. Uh, the male. Are you sure? You sure you don't want to be renamed after the female? Chips. What flavors? Plain barbecue, onion, and cream. Wait, what? I'm confused. Yes, I'm sure. Do the mail. No problem. Right. Negative effect. The staff room's having a negative effect? Okay, I can move that. That's not a problem. Right, how do I rotate... How do you rotate it's not 45 degrees? How do I rotate when it's not like not like 45 degrees each time or 90 degrees each time I should say. I'll delete it and I'll replace a new one in. So staff room is here. It's gonna have a negative effect no matter what, isn't it? But we'll get it there. All good. All good. All good. All good. So the timber wall, I can't even see what's going on right now. The rain's that bad. Are the timber walls even in here right now? I can hear them. There's one. Now, this is the female. Is the Oh, the male's in. So, we'll rename this one now to Fire Eater. There we go. The wolf is name now named Fire Eater. There you go. There you go. Let's sort out the terrain for him, then. So... Painting, they would rather have. Well, we would do the outskirts with 
kind of short grass. Right. They want a lot of soil. I'm just guessing right now because I cannot see a thing. Right, large brush size. I just can't see. Too much soil. A little bit more short grass. And that will do for us, guys. That will do. So, habitat them. Change it to the timber wolves. And they do want a hard shelter. Which that will work out wonders for us. Might get rid of you. So we'll put this just here. Get the extra large bed in. And get four of these in. Uh, food and, and drink and that kind of jazz. Oh, I can hear them uh, barking and howling and stuff. Large food tray. There we go. Get a couple of those bad boys in. So got all that in. Enrichment items, which is not really a lot available. We'll try and get one of everything in. And I'll place them around randomly. Yeah, there you can get a piñata in. That's kind of cool. And... Okay, I think the grass has changed a little bit now. There we go. And we just need to do all the decoration stuff. So we'll go North America. We'll go Tundra. No, not Tundra. We want some nice... Uh, oh, get these spruce trees. These look good. Create a forest, boys. Create a glorious forest for these beauties. That's quite nice, isn't it? They do like these trees, don't they? Yeah. So the coverage is neither here nor there. They're not too fussed about it. Give them a little bit of woodland in the middle. Uh, some mossy rocks. What else we got? Is that a Christmas tree or a festive one? That's hilarious. A giant cedar. Right, that will do. That will do. That will do. So, that's quite a lot for the, uh, the timber wolf right there. That's quite a bit. So now we've built that, I reckon... There's going to be a lot of animals ready to be um, sent to the wilderness. Uh, none of them are tortoises, unfortunately. I'm going to have to pause. I'm going to have to pause. So, any of them cheetahs? Not yet. Uh, ostriches? Yes. There's one ostrich. There is three warhogs. Which are my only warthogs. So we have to replenish them. Uh, no to the grizzly bears. Uh, elephants. No. Peafowls. Lots of them. So we need some more fertile warthogs right now. So we get rid of the ones we've got. And replace them with some new ones. 
So, crocodiles then. Nothing new there. Wolves, no. No, 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 no. Send to trade center. Move. Don't get rid of the warhogs. I am. Because they're brother and sister, so they'll, they'll inbreed. Because the parents have died. I'm not getting rid of them. i got to replace them with ones that are not related. So you got to get rid of them because they're brother and sisters. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, name the female bear mom bear. That's a good idea. Would she like that though? Would she like that? Hmm. Right. Can't get rid of you because you're pregnant. Can't get rid of you because you're pregnant. But I can release the rest of the wild. So we should have now zero animals in here, which is true. Um, the warthogs, which are common warthogs, we get them that are not brother and sister, and hopefully get some good ones that are also uh, high fertility. Right, you're a male. We'll go with you. Now we need a female. Perfect. 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 This has gone wonderful. This has gone wonderful. Right, grab both of them, send them to the zoo, and they will now replenish my zoo with baby warthogs. So, these peafowls. Wait, did these not go in? Oh, no, no, sorry, they are going in. I've got to put these back. Because they're about to give birth. Yes. So, we got 408. Still high amounts of litter. Where's the litter now? Still over here? Right, hold on. We clearly do not have enough uh, janitors, do we? There we go. So I hope they go through now and clean up all the mess. Right, this is glorious. The zoo's looking pretty good. Okay, so facilities then. Can we do anything more for the uh, the guests? Merchandise wise, uh, loony balloons, just a memento. Hats, fantastic. They sound pretty good. Right, hats, fantastic. Just a memento, loony balloons. Get them there. And then we'll do the same over here. Opposite sides of the park right now. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, hi, yes, we got a lot of emails. Check out from a man called... Uh, he's a big fan of KFC, so we probably say hello. Hello, KFC UK. How are you doing? How are you doing right now? I think my mum would love it if you named the female mum bear. Right, where is it? Where is the female? I'm still, I'm still in editing mode. Animals, female. Mum bear. Nope, still can't spell it. Mum bear. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Absolutely beautiful. So, okay, animal trading then. Hang on, what's happening now? Watkins is stressed because he's a new parent. That's why. That's why. We are going to reset the filters right now. And let's see what we can get next then. So... That one's a queue for a facility. We'll have to check that in just a moment. Um. Hmm. A lion. What do you need for a lion? That's an expensive one, isn't it? That's an expensive one. 
Uh, Lowland Gorilla. Cheetah's gonna fight because they're overcrowding. Right, I gotta sort that out real quick. How many animals are in here? Oh, they're having more babies. Oh, they're, hang on, they can be ready to be traded. Right, hold on. They're ready to be traded. So, the free babies sent to the trade center. Now, how much do we get for a cheetah? Because they were quite expensive to, to begin with anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. These three alone, 1,357. So I, 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 I could get, I could get a gorilla. I could legit get a gorilla. Which would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Probably, uh, ooh, ooh. Are they good ones though? They are getting old. They are getting old. So you're kind of hoping that they would give birth pretty quick. Um, so I can get you and you two gorillas. Two gorillas. Do you know what? No, I'm not going to go for gorillas. I'm not going to go for gorillas. Um, Komodo dragon panda says money cash. Where's the pandas? The great pandas. We checked these earlier. I think they were quite expensive as well. Oh no, actually good. I mean, the your normal standard panda. Uh, versus. What's the difference between these? These ones are ten thousand. What, what's going on? They're all male as well. There's no female availability. There's no female availability for the pandas. Lions. That's a good boy's one. boy's got that cash money moolah. Oh, here we go. Hashtag King Fulio donated here we nine go. pounds and ninety nine pence. Old man, 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 old man. Hello, Ryan. How you doing? How you doing? <sighs> Damn fool. Um, <laughs> I could get a lion, but I got the same problem. No females. Ryan is an old man. Ryan is an old man. Ryan, I got zero gray hairs. I don't know what you're talking about right now. I mean, you can get some pretty good lions here. But they're so expensive. But we're doing good, though, because we get to the point where we're starting to breed the um, higher value animals, which are giving us higher rewards. He plucked his grey hairs. <laughs> you have a female top, right? Her um, fertility is really low. So she's less likely to give birth. And her immunity is really low. All her stats are terrible. I wouldn't want to spend 400 on, on, a, a very, on those terrible stats. Uh, right, let's reset the filters. I'm just going to go through this right now to see what would be like a good move. Hippopotamus. Rhinoceros. Uh, a, gi a giraffe. What's a, what's a giraffe these days? Oh my god, they're that expensive? Flamingo. I'm looking for high value uh, animals at this point. I want high value um, animals. What's the most expensive animal? Hmm. 
an albino lowland gorilla damn and the cheapest an ostrich <laughs> ah yeah what's an endangered species guys Siberian tiger Yep, Siberian tigers. Money Hashtag Kingfolio donated two pounds. Man, white hair, 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 man, white hair. A young and good animals are very expensive. I'm looking for ones that give when they have offspring their high value. Like we had the um, the cheetahs. Three of their cubs, 1,300 um, conservation credits. I feel like this Siberian tiger might be a good move. That one's worth 666. Right, adopt you. And then a female, good fertility, you. Siberian tigers. Oh, this is good. This is good. And leave me alone, Ryan. This is cyberbullying, okay? This is cyberbullying right now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I, you're older than me, Ryan. Uh, so grade three, climb proof, three meters. Wow, didn't see that one coming. Um, uh, which I think is the glass, isn't it? That would be glass. Not climbable, grade three, yeah, and it needs to be three meters. So I'm gonna have to up the sizes of all of that. I'm gonna place that then. Because we have a viewing platform here, I'm gonna I'm gonna build it here. So let me just do the path a little bit further out. Alright, there we go. Align to the oh no. Yep. Noise uh, habitat. No habitat. Barriers. That's what I want. So I won't do the height just yet. I won't determine the height of this area just yet. Because we can come back and do that anyway. Actually, no. We'll, we'll actually do it now. Um, so 3.27. Um, that's fine. 3.27. 3.25. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Right, how far back do I take this? I feel like I want to make it like a decent size enclosure. Yeah. Which I'm going to go brick now. Wait, brick is not climbable and it's grade 5. Come back to that in just a minute. One more. Then we go on free brick. Right, nice and big for the lines. Nice and big for the lions, boys. Roar. He triggered. <laughs> Shut up, Ryan. You damn fool. I will get revenge. Don't you worry. I will get revenge. Okay. Right. Animal trading. Center zoo. Right. What's the issue here? The cheeses are stressed. Oh, they uh, they stress because there's no food available. I mean, another sign for that is I now because I, obviously I've been expanding like crazy. We don't also don't have enough keepers. Come 
because they're now being stretched quite thin. Bam, 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 bam. So I'm going to go a little bit trigger happy, which does mean I'm going to have to spend a lot more on staff wages. But hopefully we can pull all this back. Uh, right, okay. So facility-wise, I need... Uh, da, 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 da. Finances, we're going to first go with some donation booths. Because that's what pays the bills. We're going to go for some trash cans real quick. Don't get confused with the donation booth to the trash can. Don't throw the donations in the trash. Very good. Well, our first uh, tiger is now in. Our first tiger is now in. It's a five-star animal rating as well. Nice. And let's just sort out the terrain for them. So, oh, they would they would take some deep water as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, terrain in them. Uh, add in some water. A little bit of water for them. They'll enjoy that. And long grass is a no-no for them. So I'm going to first paint it with the short grass. Just to remove the long grass. Uh, they do require some soil. So I'll put the soil around the water. Right, I'm going to fast forward as well so we can get to the next day quicker. So we can see a bit easier. And some rock. We seem to still have quite a, bit, a lot of long grass. Well, where's that? Because I've just literally painted over the whole thing. Right, I'm going to have to wait for this next day. Don't you dare kill my cheetah. I ain't going to kill your cheetah. Your cheetah's safe. The cheetah's about to mate as well. Well, uh, did you assign the cage to the working zone? Yes. Right, I'm going crazy with the rocks right now just to get rid of the long grass, which I don't see how there's long grass in here. Right, I'm going to replace it with some soil. And some short grass. Right, nice little bit of uh, terrain now involved. A little bit of a mixture. A little bit of colour as well, which is quite nice to see. Uh, they re do require hard shelter, so I always want to put the hard shelter in first. So, filter these to the animal. Which is the Siberian tiger. Right, let's start with the hard shower first. I'll put it near the water, that'll be quite nice. Extra large bed in. There we go. And they've now got their hard shelter, mate. Oh, they require more hard shelter by the looks of it. We'll go for a, a second one right next door. The needs keep changing. And we'll get one more in just here. That is more than adequate right now. These animals want all the hard shelters. Uh, right, okay, so... Let's do the food stuff first, then the water. So I'm going to do two of each. 
large food tray. Um, enrichment items, there's actually quite a few we can now go with. We do the underwater fish feeder. A scratch post tree. Another one over there. A rubbing pad. We'll go for some climbing frames. These are nice, these ones. I like this one as well because it's got the rocks on it. And try and get a, something of everything in just to really entice them with the enrichment items. Just gonna randomly place them everywhere. And um, I like smoke fish. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get some environment stuff right now. So biomes, you can stay in that biome, but it just needs to go to the Asia bi uh, continent. So we'll start with some trees. Which is not really that many available. Oops. There's a couple of trees there. We'll do some here. And these should be the tall boys. It's not really that tall though, is it? Uh, what else can we throw in? We need more coverage. Not really doing much in that coverage, is it? We're trying to squeeze in some more of those trees. Alright, I'm going to do a, a, a various range of these trees. Creating like little miniature f um, forests. The day and night cycle in this game is really harsh. All right, still trying to up the coverage on this. Well, they want so many trees, don't they? They really want these trees, guys. They really want these trees. I'm literally building a forest. I wish you could kind of plant down trees that you can in city skylines. That would be good. Right, lots of trees available. That enclosure is now done. Nice. Right. People are visiting me. Interesting. Um, claim my rewards. And I think we just had lots of babies recently as well. The the baby elephants matured. The baby elephant has matured. So animal trading. No, wrong one. Zoo. Uh, animals. So there's so many tortoises still. Oh, they've had more uh, babies for the cheetahs. Great stuff. Right, let's get rid of all the ostriches. Well, I can see myself getting quite a bit of conservation credits now. This is going to be quite a good day. Right, be careful on the warthogs. Uh, bears. Not quite yet. So, Money Cash and Zoe, their baby is now of age that I can release it into the wild. Money Cash, Zoe. Say goodbye to Varaj, your child. I'm now sending it to the wild. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, none of the alligators have matured. Oh no, actually, yeah, some of the alligators have matured. Uh, goodbye, fool. Goodbye. Um, the tiger. What? The tiger's already had a baby? No way. And the timber wolves! They've had two babies as well. 
crazy. Rest in peace? What do you mean, rest in peace? Is the wolf being bred? Yes. You've had, you've had two babies, Fyria. You've had two babies right now. Right, send to the trade center. Great stuff. And animal trading. Oh, we've got a good one here as well. Right, they can all be traded. Except one of them. Who can't be traded? Who can't be traded? No, our baby elephant. Where is it? There it is. 483 conservation. I'm trading the baby. 483 conservation credits. Right, there's something here stopping me trading them all. Send to zoo. That might be one that I purchased myself. Could be, who knows. Release to the wild. 1,237 credits I've now got. Let's go. Let's go. I can't see a thing. The rain is so bad. The rain is so bad right now. You cannot see a thing. Right, so. In terms of money coming in... We made 13 grand last year. This year we're making nearly 8 grand profit. Now, the income, the main income is coming from donations. And it's the common warthog which is making the most in donations. I think. Then it's the ostriches. Then it's the tortoises. Then it's the, the crocodiles. Why are like, the good animals not making any cash? What's going on there? What's going on there? It's mainly because these guys are right on the entrance. It's like the first animals that they all see. So it kind of makes a little bit of sense. It kind of makes a little bit of sense right now. Right, let's wait for daytime. I've got so many people coming in. So what are they saying about the zoo these, these days? What are they saying about the zoo in terms of guests? Oh, need more ATMs. Need some more ATMs. Okay, good idea. So... Money stuff, ATMs. I'll try and place a few of these puppies down. Do 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 Just gonna casually drop them where I need where we can. There's a fair few ATMs. I can get more money out to spend more money. I mean, I like the rain. It's realistic and all that. But I, I just can't see a thing. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Facility without power. That's going to be because... Yeah. It's out of the radius. So we'll get a solar panel nearby. There we go. There we go. Right. What are they saying now? Should have bought an umbrella. That's only because it just rained. ATMs look busy, but you gotta give it every time, everyone time to kind of get through it. Average guest education. Oh, that's something else that I haven't even done yet. Is the education? So animal exhibits. Where do you find the education stuff? Here, media devices. So what you've got to do with all of this is you've got to provide education materials, like a, like, a, a, like a, an information board. You can have like a soundtrack playing in the background, like a voiceover talking about the animals and stuff like that. So habitat education board. This is something that I've got to add on almost every single one of them right now. Let's see what happens if I place this one here. So that there, I think you then have to select it 
and hook it up to the common ostriches and then they can learn about the common ostriches this is stuff that I've kind of forgot to get in and this is how you educate them a little bit more and then you can also put in an ambient speaker which can play noises um, of I mean I don't know what I'd play South American jungle does that make sense uh, oh no no wrong one habitat webcam Enter camera. I put it on the wrong side. Let's put it just there. Beautiful! You can now watch the animals live! How cool is that? That's pretty good. So, in terms of zoo stuff right now, 17% guest education. I wonder if I place a few more down, what does that do for us? So, we'll get some more of these boards down. So, this is for the pea fowls. Is that working? No power, that's why. Now it's working. Right, we was on 17%, remember guys, we was on 17%. So this one is for the cheaters. Oh, we've got to get one for the elephants, which we've got to do up here. Oh, wait. I can't place that on um, on the path. So I'm going to place it here instead. Uh, elephants. We've got so many tortoises in there. It's ridiculous how many we've actually got. that there just block everyone's view why not tortoises why can't I place that one why can't I what can I do anything with this one there we go uh, super water crocodile nice so what have I missed out then I've done all of these I've got to do these two over here right now don't I so one there one there so that is a siberian tigers this is the chimpanzees i've got to do the wolves and the grizzly bears and then the grizzly bears and i want to see if that alone changes the guest education Um, six animals have just died. Oh, they died of old age. They died of old age. There we go. They died of old age. <laughs> I got scared then for a second. Uh, yeah, there's too many in animals in some of the enclosures now as well. So we got to be a bit careful about that. Right, we'll sort that in just a moment anyway. But in terms of the zoo, we've actually lost a percent. We've actually lost a percent. So yeah. Yeah. A diseased animal discovered, vet requested. The tiger? 
They've got Campa Campylobacteriosis. Where did they get that from? You're not dead, are you? Are you alive? No, you're still alive. Hey guys, look, look. Tiger poop. There's tiger poo in 4K. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right. We have got quite a lot of money in the bank right now. And things are running so, so smoothly. But I think it is time to bring the stream to an end, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. We've had some fun. We've got some more animals in. We're making more money than we ever done before. And the zoo is looking absolutely fantastic. Um, guys, we've done four streams in a row right now on Planet Zoo. Do you want me to do another stream next week on Planet Zoo? Or should we maybe switch over to a different game? I'll let you guys decide. Let me know in my Discord. You haven't got to decide right now. Let your boy know in the Discord right now. But, appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it right now. Let me uh, save the zoo. Save and exit. Save and quit Planet Zoo. There we go. Save and quit. We are going bye-byes. Going bye-byes. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell my dinner. I have no idea what it is, but it smells delicious. Delicious, boys. But, guys, appreciate it right now. Um, watch my Discord. There is a link down below in the description. Uh, if you haven't already, guys, this is your last chance to smash that like button. But, appreciate it. I will see you all soon. So good.